Welcome back. So, uh, FI? Yeah. So, we <laughs> we have a function from N to R. Um, and. Okay, like, what is this? Um, there's a, there's, there's an inequality. All right. Um, HMIC. Okay, so uh, I guess first of all, f1 minus 1. So I, I at least know one of the points. Um, I don't know if... I, mean, I guess I should plug in... Like C equals one, probably. I should probably get both C equals one and uh, A B equals one, I guess. So one of them gives something that looks suspiciously like a fact that that factoring A B thing, and the other one gives um, F two F C. Well, one of them just gives FC is at least one. Okay. Yeah, so that, that when you plug in all ones, you get, like, a certain square is non-positive, which is, you know, good. And that gives you F1 equals one. Uh, let, let me just use the P notation so that people know what I'm plugging in. Um, from P11C, one, one we get... From P, A, B, 1, we get. Okay, so all of the values are at least 1. Um, sorry, shit. Uh, did I flip it? I, f I f No, no, that's right. Um... What happens if we just plug in 1-1? One, one? Do I just do like B equals 1 or something? Um, or A equals... yeah. BC gives something... FBC minus FBFC... So I don't know what I'm doing. Um, uh... So I I think on art of problem solving forums the convention is that and the natural numbers does not include zero by default, um, but that will change depending on which countries you go to. So um, art of problem solving is an American forum, so they have a convention that zero is not an n, um, as does everything I write. But there are other countries for which that's not the case. Um, No, whole whole numbers always include zero. That that I think that that is always been the case. Uh, I don't. It, it's not a word. <sighs> okay, if I just like. Do these two together imply anything? I, I, I want to just find out. Um, we're gonna we're gonna call it a uh, pxx1 and p1xx together, um, and we're gonna use f of x squared as the proxy. Um, so the first equation tells me this thing is less than or equal to 2fx minus 1. And the other equation tells me it's, um, at least, um, f of x minus f of x squared 
minus one. So does that do anything useful? No, something's wrong. Um, I expect all ones to be equality, so I fucked something up. This should be plus one. Um, okay, exciting. We get some quadratic. I, I don't know what the hell a quadratic is. Uh, plus f of x is at least two. Oh, that's not good. Um, we already knew that. Uh, okay, fine. P222. Um... Honestly, not a bad idea. Uh, I mean, I don't... Do we care about two? Okay, we're, we're gonna throw in PXXX as well. And we get uh, F of X squared plus F of X squared minus F of X, F of X squared. There's at least one. Uh... All right, no, sorry. Th this square is, goes on the inside. Uh, okay, so... This this gives you something. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's like 2 minus f of x... times f of x squared is at least 1. What the heck is FF did I fuck up the quadratic? Uh wait. Oh, uh, maybe I fucked up okay, hang on. Um Shit, I fucked up the quadratic, didn't I? Um Alright, sorry. This is f of x squared plus 1 minus f of x. Yeah, sorry, you're, you're correct. Okay, so never mind. This will actually tell you something. I don't know what it tells you. Uh, this says f of x squared minus 3 f of x plus 2 is less, is less than or equal to 0. Which means that x is... Ugh, just... Where does this stuff all come from? Like, I'm just confused, like, who dreamed up of this equation? <laughs> uh, okay, so... So, okay, so this this implies that f of x is uh, less than or equal to 2. Is that what we get? And then that means this equation also does something. Um, it says f, so that two minus f of x is non-negative. I was gonna say earlier it had to be non-negative, but now we get it anyways. Um, sub g of x. I feel like that makes things more annoying, doesn't it? Does it? Like, I feel like... Wait, oh, that's really funny. Um... Seriously? Is that is that what happens? So, okay, um... So this statement, we know that f is always at, the, at most 2, and so this statement now says, um... In fact, f of x is less than or equal, is greater than or equal, wait, greater, less than? Less than or equal to 2 minus 1 over f of x squared. Uh, 
And this is really important because um, if all the values of f are at least two, then they're at most they're at most three halves, and then they're at most four thirds, and then they're at most like five quarters. Right. <laughs> they're at most six. <laughs> Okay, all right. Does this actually work? <laughs> all right, um. Okay, uh, I, th I, I, I think this just works, right? Like, it, it, it just, and not not only does it work, um, we didn't use this entire blob here. Like, this entire blob is not necessary because this statement already implies that, like, because we know f is at least one, it already implies that f is, um, yeah. I think, yeah, okay, all right, all right, very good, very good. Um, and I still have no idea where the where the equation comes from, fuck. Okay, uh, we're, we're fine. Uh, just, just roll with it. Um, don't let go of Tauruses in the mouth! Uh, yeah. Um... The answer is F is one only, which works. Conversely, let P A B C be the statement. Then note that PXXX gives the statement. Uh, well, well, I'll just put these on separate lines. Okay, I will I will actually divide it properly just to make it very explicit. That we this this step is okay cuz it is at least one. We're not worried about negative crap. Um Hi Hurler, welcome back. Okay, and then after that, um, four thirds. Line 29 has f of... Oh shit, thanks. Uh... Ah! And then the parentheses went to the wrong place. Okay. 
I'm still so confused. Like, I feel like this equation was supposed to mean something, but I didn't see what. Like, because we never even used the equation when A was not equal to B. Like, we only ever plugged in pairs where A and B were equal. So the statement is, like, sort of way too general or something for what you actually need. Um... I think everyone did like basically the same thing. What the heck is? Oh, this statement's not true. Oh, uh, you you can't take it back. So we're infinite stuff like that. I think. Well, these are very complicated, actually. Yeah, you need to use two. You can't use max there. Um. Hello, Chiang Kwan. Hi. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> wow, this, this is very... Yeah, actually, I'm going to make a remark that we, we only even... I thought the Twitch. <laughs> Honestly, I probably. Sh eh, I don't know. Where would the thing is? Where would I automate it? Like, do I put it in the Vaughn code directly, or do I? Yeah, this this seems. I mean, okay. I mean, the thread title is easy problem to give us comfort. So you know, maybe some flag in Vaughn show. Yeah. I feel like that's a little self-serving, but it does make sense, I think. <laughs> well, on the other hand, it's only like... Like, how many? 27 letters long? So, yeah. 